okay thank you very much uh, dr arpan so this is a class for the students who are studying btech mtech bsc msc in material science engineering mechanical engineering chemistry solid state physics physics and most importantly the students who are willing to pursue career in research and have an objective uh, to to pursue phd in the near future so and also even for the student who are pursuing phd in different institutions so these these softwares uh, about which i am going to talk are very essential software i want to uh, i want to just uh, take a, a very brief account about the softwares so anyone who is preparing uh, for the phd or uh, pursuing phd or they are studying different uh, courses of material science and engineering mechanical engineering they must understand nowadays the research is a part of computational system so you must be very computer loving person and you must be always updated about the different softwares programming language and also the, the compatibility of your research with computers so herein we will talk about different uh, softwares five six softwares that are very essential these softwares are not uh, uh, just uh, linked to a particular research domain but they are important equally in all field of uh, all field of uh, research and science and technology either you are a biotechnologist or you are a bi uh, biochemist or you are a material engineer or a mechanical engineer the software that is uh, about which i am going to talk are very important so the first software is this is material studio material studio is a very essential software it's it's it's, it's a software you can do modeling and also simulation simulation part is very small you cannot do a big simulation big simulation means more, more than 10000 atom or like that it will be difficult but a small simulation you can do using the material studio so this is this software is very uh, very compatible with uh, windows and unix and very user friendly but it need a uh, little uh, professional training so without professional training it is difficult to handle so this software is what is the purpose of this software as i told it's, it's interdisciplinary it's not limited for a particular field uh, if you think that okay i am uh, working in chemistry so what is need of this i am a physicist what is need of this i am a biotechnologist what is this need of this no the softwares that I, uh, that that we are discussing today are very important so this software material studio you can predict the properties of material you can get spectroscopic properties of material you can uh, give the, uh, you can get the structure of a particular uh, material especially in the lattice phase you can get the quantum mechanical properties you can get the crystallization suppose suppose uh, you you prepared a new material and you know all those uh, uh, all the all the com uh, uh, composition elemental composition then you can calculate the crystallization molecular dynamics different molecular dynamics you can get using the material studio and computational chemistry indeed uh, computational chemistry is a very wide uh, uh, wide and very very broad uh, 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 broad word but it's a lot of calculation you can do like uh, electron density uh, electron density energy density power density and different uh, di uh, different electronic motion thermal conductivity electronic conductivity you can uh, uh, you can get using this software so how it works just as a example here suppose in a, in a, in your lab you prepared single wall nanotube double wall nanotube or multi wall nanotube and you want to calculate the physical properties so you have to do a number of uh, experiments now this software will help you to get the properties of each your nanomaterial suppose single wall double wall or multi wall nanometer you can get mechanical properties you can get electronic or thermal properties you can get suppose you in in your lab you prepared a composite that is having polymer and filler then you different kind of mechanical properties you can calculate using the material studio
another example if we take suppose you prepared some nano material and you want to uh, study the uh, uh, ye, ye, ye particular properties in a three dimensional system or a two dimensional system this software is amazing you can get the electronic property thermal property and similarly a lot of uh, molecular some uh, simulation you can get using this software the next software is origin uh, I told you, Dr. Arpan, most of the my uh, most of the my friend have a uh, fun that okay, origin is a not just but it is a like Excel and MATLAB, but I think they are missing something. Origin is a is a, is a fundamental tool for the research. And what I experience in, uh, during the 10 years of my research, these softwares are essential. We must teach about this software from our graduation. Means P-Tech classes, M-Tech classes. This is a wonderful software. Ample of information you can get using this software. So Material Studio is simulation and modeling tool. It's very compatible to the with window. It's it's, 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 a, it's a developed by origin uh, origin corporation and very importantly you you don't need any previous experience to uh, do the origin and and also you can get a open version indeed it is it is a purchase version has all the uh, all the tools and function but if you are a, if anyone is a student they can ask to the company as a student version so they can use so what what is the benefit and what is the uh, what is the application of this this origin Origin software is fundamentally applicable for the uh, physics, chemistry, solid state chemistry, and mechanical engineering. Any any branch who is going to plot a graph, different kind of uh, 2D graph, 3D graph, pie chart, bar chart, presentation, especially if you are working with XRD, FTIR, FT, uh, all those instru uh, instrumental files, you can get directly and take a, uh, uh, just to take a graph. Also, peak fitting, uh, about peak fitting, we will talk in the next uh, slides. So and simple calculation. The, the amazing things is that many people uh, don't know about simple calculation. Also possible uh, regarding XRD and UV, like band gap calculation. All those things you can you can do easily. Peak fitting also, sir. This. We can do using this also. Yeah. Peak fitting also. Yeah, we can so, do. So, yes, fitting we can do. But so, okay, we will talk so, special software. We will discuss about because in this uh, in this session in this lecture series, I want to educate uh, students. That's what is the importance of software. So, so, so how is how 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 we use it? So you see different kind of software. You can uh, graphs. You can see these all uh, has all been plotted using using the uh, origin. So all the bar chart, pie chart, three D method, and all those fittings and all the uh, wonderful color, all those things you can. It's a simple software. It is possible in Excel, but not in a very lucrative and attentive way. So that is why I always uh, recommend people to use the origin. So our next software is, is, is like that. So uh, yes, sorry. So uh, another thing to, to, to uh, suppose you have a, a this uh, uh, XPS, uh, uh, X, uh, uh, you have, sorry, you have UVR, uh, UVX spectrum, suppose, and you want to say in a different style. So UV also give a chance you can in different style, you can calculate. This is another uh, is another graph of other instrumental files. So you can make in a uh, some uh, attractive way. So same graph you can make in an attractive way in a different color, even different peak in different color you can choose. Also, you can find out different peak within the peak that is called peak separation or peak merging. So these facilities are available in origin. Next important software is image. Image is is open software, it's, it's, it's a, but it's a very powerful tool. So it's it's it's, it's a Java based uh, software uh, image processing system, and it accepts a ample of files. That is the most uh, adaptability and adorability of this software. So, uh, so suppose TIFF, PNG, ZIP, any file you can it get processed because it use also instrumental file. And it is very compatible with uh, uh, so our Windows system and so, so, uh, and open. So, so, so open source, you can get also purchase versions. So the open source is also there and you can use it. So what is the basic importance? Important, suppose you are, if you are working with the electron microscopy, your research or your studies are uh, linked with the uh, electron microscopy, especially FEACM, HRTM, AFM, like those are, are other image processing tool. There is a EPR, a lot of, lot of spectral technique and uh, microscopic technique is there. That is, we get image form. 
So uh, you can uh, using this software, you can be a simple, we, we get a simple uh, photo from the uh, instrument. So we can get density histogram, line profile, image size, what will be the particle, what is the particle size, what is the roughness, what is the smoothening of surface, what, what is the uniform surface, and what is the distribution of different kind of particles. So th this is so so this is geometrical transformation, scaling, rotation, and flipping. Everything is there in this software. So without this software, uh, I cannot believe that anyone can uh, easily process the image and uh, can give a good interpretation of uh, FEFM or TM images or AFM images without using this software. So this is a wonderful software. For example, here we have a image of a particle so you can uh, you can uh, average size you can get you can get a uh, you can get a particular size of a particular particle you can get a histogram you can uh, get a distribution so it's simply by simple image using uh, image software so this is uh, also very uh, important software I also want to add to the um, uh, to our viewer and students. If you are doing any research, or you are associated with the scientific uh, scientific studies, suppose you are a MSc or BTech or MTech student, please concentrate on mathematical things and computational things, and do not tag uh, yourself that okay, I am a chemistry person, I am a physics person, I, I don't need this software. It will be very difficult if you think like that, because in research, without, without mathematics and without this computational things, it is very difficult. Uh, if you are a pure mathematician, then I cannot say, but it is very difficult if you tag yourself, okay, I'm a, a solid state physics, I don't need any uh, chemistry thing. I don't need any math things. I think you are going to uh, destroy. So uh, next, I come to the point, the CASA XPS, as from name, it's uh, it's uh, very clear. So, so it, this software has been developed, uh, developed for the XPS spectroscopy initially, but later, uh, later it has been modified a lot of modification from Caltech USA, and they have added a lot of feature for the XRD and other things uh, you can get it. So fundamental, uh, fundamental use of this uh, this uh, uh, software is to uh, to study the aggregate data and spectroscopic data from XPS, and also so you can get chemical state of the chemical state binding energy, electronic state, atom within elemental composition, and uh, so percentage of atom anything you can get using this software using the XPS XPS uh, spectroscopic data. So XPS is very very uh, very specific but very wonderful especially to uh, to study the uh, binding energy and all those xps related studies so so a, a single paper can a, only a paper thing a single paper can be uh, written uh, using uh, this uh, xps because it's a very powerful tool so xps is uh, this uh, casa xps is very powerful tool also, this software nowadays can also be used to study XRD spectral and XRD data from XRD instrument I can also be used. So here, this, these are the application, how can you, uh, you can play with the different, different peak here. I have presented one example from uh, one researcher's paper. So it's a, uh, there is a three, four peaks. So they have separated all those peaks. They have calculated the value of each peak, all the meaning of all the peak, and also D3, P3, uh, ground state, excited state, anything you can calculate. Here, you can also easily get just by putting this, uh, your data, XPS data in uh, CASA XPS, you can get uh, oxygen, nitrogen, uh, orbital, uh, orbital information, and all those things, and electronic information you can easily get. The next is the peak fit. So peak fit, uh, peak fit is a sister of a sister of origin. So it is not very special, but it is very uh, so powerful and very simple. So so in a casa, a casa need a, a little bit training, and you have to be at least uh, one week. You have to give time to learn that software. But this peak fit is very easy. Like it is a sister or brother of uh, this origin software. So you can just put your data and you can fit. What is the fitting? Suppose you are getting a single peak. You are getting a single peak in, uh, in your UB or in your XPS or XRD. 
those and if you want to uh, want to uh, want to find is there any uh, uh, peak within the range so you can uh, you can fit and you can separate the peak within suppose 300 to 400 you have one peak so within that range there is a several peak and you can calculate using this software this software is very good and it's user friendly so if you are very uh, very good in origin and casa express no need of peak fit but if you are very big in casa express then you can download a this uh, peak fit software so this is uh, this is the wonderful things that has been uh, performed in a different research paper that i presented here uh, for, for the knowledge purpose here uh, you can see we can see this is a broad peak so inside we can see sp3 and sp2 to carbon uh, carbon system we can identify here we can identify another peak here uh, there is a one peak but within the peak one two three peak we have here three peak we have here we have four peak here we have three peak so peak within peak this is a peak fitting it's a it's the art but also it's a, it's a very scientific uh, uh, scientific exploration of uh, your intuition what is happening within the a particular range of uh, absorption or emission Next is the crystal maker. Crystal maker is also very important. It is uh, it is more important for the physics person who and uh, chemistry person who has uh, some background of the uh, background of the solid state chemistry. So this this is developed by uh, Oxford University. It need training. It need proper training. Without training, you cannot do. But it is a very uh, essential software. In this video, what I am uh, today covering is an essential software. It is uh, suppose you are a PhD student, you must know all five six software. So the the the, the import uh, the importance of this software is you can uh, you can calculate uh, you can build crystal you can manipulate all kind of crystal activities you can make molecular structure you can design material you can relax their structure what means of relax their structure suppose you have uh, you prepared a, 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 a you, you just uh, uh, discover a compound new compound so this compound will have a different uh, different structural form and one of them may be very stable. So this software will give you a lot of information how to uh, compare the stability of different crystal or molecular system. Even this software is help, helpful to, uh, to, uh, to generate good video for teaching and simulation of the crystal engineering and all those things. It, 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 this uh, the advanced uh, the advanced version of crystal maker is, uh, maker is also very applicable for powder XRD and single crystal XRD. For example, this kind of crystal, so, so it, it is, uh, we always need uh, when we are doing some uh, research or any researcher or, uh, have developed some uh, material or any uh, uh, crystalline system, they always worried about how we will, uh, uh, symmetrically we will draw and how we will get exact information of uh, all those uh, lattice point, hexagonal point, uh, pentagonal point and how, where is the A's and where is the attachment. So this, uh, this crystal maker is a very powerful software. In addition to uh, uh, creating this, uh, this uh, visualization of crystal, there is a lot of calculation you can get in the crystal maker. That really I'm not an expert, but yes, I know that it's a lot of uh, calculation you can do. Suppose there is a crystal and you put one nitrogen atom and uh, nitrogen. So effect of nitrogen atom surrounding atoms, you can calculate theoretically using this crystal maker. So all those things uh, you can do using this crystal maker software. The last, uh, last one is not last, the last to last. This is came draw. So mostly, uh, so, so ChemDraw is treated as, uh, as a uh, software for chemistry, but I think it's a wrong notion. Uh, a wrong notion. Any field of uh, any field of research, especially engineering and science, involves some uh, involvement of chemistry. So we we have to uh, we have to understand how to draw some uh, simple molecules. So this ChemDraw software is very powerful to draw uh, draw chemical molecule. More importantly, you if, suppose you, you have a, uh, you, you develop a new uh, molecules and how easily you can uh, you can get the IPAC name using this software. Also, you can get theoretical Raman, UV, mass, uh, mass, and IR 
IR spectra of a new system. Suppose you uh, you generated a hypothetical uh, carbon uh, carbon molecule, and you want to uh, uh, see what uh, what will be its Raman, what will be its IR, what will be its mass spectra. So you can easily calculate and get a graph, a theoretical graph using this chem draw. So chem draw is this kind of system you can draw in the chem draw. You can make a color. You can make all those beautiful things. You can uh, draw a reaction. You can even, uh, as I as I told you, you can even get the spectra. Suppose this molecule, and you want to uh, you want to uh, get the spectra theoretically. You can get a structure where will be the major peak, where will be minor peak. So this this is this is a very a very important software if you are working on a new molecular system. My last last software is a, uh, is a chem draw or Photoshop. When we talk about chem draw or Photoshop, we always make fun. But I think the most important tool is uh, for our paper because ultimate uh, research of our paper to publish it in a reputed journal. So, 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 but presentation is very important. Suppose you have a, you you have a, a, a read, a, a completed a prepared a excellent manuscript. But nowadays, all the scientific general need a good presentation. So if you need to present this kind of graphical, this kind of graphical, this kind of this, it is very difficult to uh, so, so, so make these images in only in PPT or using Word tools or the Microsoft Office tool. Of course you can, but it will take a lot of time. So similarly, if you want to prepare such kind of graphical or a wallpaper or a scheme, it is very difficult uh, using that uh, classical tools. So this uh, uh, this coral draw or soft way, uh, Photoshop, we must learn. Especially student must learn in the initial days. So you can make a lot of creativity and you can draw your own symmetric uh, diagram without copying to other. That will create a lot of uh, lot of interest of the editor and the paper will get a good attention and it, it, it will be published easily. Of course, scientific, uh, scientific wisdom and deepness is very necessary, but presentation is equally important. So this software is, uh, I think it's very important. So thank you very much. And I will request my student, uh, if you are going through this uh, video, please subscribe this channel. This channel is completely free. And we are giving this information and we are willing to teach material science, material engineering, and this solid state physics, nanotechnology in this platform. Thank you, sir, for invitation. Thank you very much. Thank you, sir. Very, it will be very helpful to all. Yes, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you.